Why did you write Lolita? Why did I write Lolita? Why, why did I write any of my books after all? For the sake of the pleasure, for the sake of the, of the difficulty. You see, I have no social purpose, no moral message. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a messenger. I have no general ideas to exploit. I'm not a general. But I like composing riddles. I like uh, finding elegant solutions uh, to, to my riddles, to those riddles that I have composed myself. First published in 1955, Vladimir Nabokov's famous novel Lolita has sold more than 50 million copies worldwide. To this day, the story of Humbert's sexual enslavement of his 12-year-old stepdaughter provokes strong reactions. Pedophilic themes appear in several of Nabokov's novels. Do we really understand why? Nabokov strongly insisted art at its greatest was fantastically deceitful and complex. Should we not be concerned then that he described Lolita in a 1954 letter as a time bomb? Could his riddle involve Humbert's shadowy rival, Quilty, whose name can be transformed into French as Quilty, meaning who is he to you? This identity game is complicated by Nabokov's unexplained appearance within Lolita as Quilty's cross-dressing mistress, Vivian Darkbloom, author of a biography entitled My Q. What about the lie Nabokov told when he claimed a US publisher had agreed to handle his novel if he changed his seductive nymphette into a boy? This documentary solves Lolita's elusive riddle by unlocking the author's cross-novel word games and codes. For the first time, we demonstrate how Nabokov hid a sordid family secret within his best-selling novel and exposed Lolita as a literary hoax that tragically backfired.